So please welcome this week's special guest, Miller. <laughs> Steve, what is Miller to you? This is Miller. He presented me with a trophy after I rode two miles down a river on an inflatable rhino. <laughs> Gabby, how do you know Miller? Uh, this is Miller, and I know Miller because we often take one of my dogs flying. <laughs> and finally, David, what's your relationship with Miller? This is Miller. I accidentally outbid him for a cuckoo clock when I sneezed at an auction. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. Lee's team, where do you want to start? Uh, should we start with... Who do you want to start with? Steve? Yeah. So, just remind us again, cos I'm confused with the words. Uh, so he gave me a trophy yeah. after I rode two miles down a river on an inflatable rhinoceros. What a man. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, did I ever tell you about the time I rode down the river on a real rhinoceros? <laughs> On. Just saying. <laughs> Why have you kept in touch, Steve? Uh, we haven't. <laughs> Did you not like him? <laughs> um, it's, uh, it takes place in Fort William in Scotland, and I very rarely go there. And is this an annual event? Yes. It's the, the river that runs down the side of Ben Nevis, uh, which is a, a whitewater river, and it's run uh, on lilos, usually. I've been on that. That amazingly, I honeymooned very near there. So you weren't there at the time that this event was taking place? No, but I know that is true, that Fort yeah, William is I'm, near Ben Nevis, so that bit... I'm more <laughs> <laughs> this is the bit I'm worried about, it because I need your help, and so far you go, oh, this is true, there is a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's what's the, such a big deal about Miller that he got to present the trophy? <laughs> That's very aggressively <laughs> <funny>. <laughs> So the, the, race, the race is run to raise money for the Lakaba oh, Mountain sailed. Rescue. <laughs> it's paddled to raise money for the, uh, for the Mountain Rescue. And, oh, uh, what a man. <laughs> <laughs> was everyone else on an inflatable animal? Everyone else was on uh, lilos. As in I, the I traditional, was... what I'm thinking of as a lilo is just a, like a bed that's inflatable. Traditional, what you sleep on when you go camping. So yeah. it's a fun event where it's, a, it's like the water equivalent of a fun run. You've got to try and stay on in a hostile environment. On, on a lilo that's not designed for it. Yes? Exactly. Why, have you, why did you choose to do a, a rhino? Uh, I, was, I was going off script. I, I went down to Toys R Us to try and get what I thought would be... I, I wanted to get an inflatable T-Rex, but they didn't have one, they just had a rhino. So you're saying there's a great big Toys R Us next to Ben Nevis? <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> All right, who are you going to move on to? OK, Gabby. Mm. Tell me again. Something about dogs flying. So, <laughs> <laughs> Miller um, has his pilot's licence and we take my dog flying occasionally. We? Me and Miller. Do you you know Miller two take the dog? Yes, Miller flies the plane. And what do you do? Right, You're so a passenger or are you learning I'm, to fly? No, I'm not yet. I'm not learning to fly yet. But, um, That's instantly much more credible because I thought you meant that your dog flew on its own. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd already excluded you from this. <laughs> Wants to go. It's the dog that wants to go. Gabby. No, initially I wanted to go. It was an accident the first time. Um, we, we he, he kept his light aircraft um, at an airfield, and I had taken so I, I was taking the dog for a walk in a park nearby, and basically I was supposed to meet my husband to hand the dog over. He'd got delayed, and I turned up, and I was about to say, "I'm really sorry, it's not going to happen today. I've got the dog." And Miller's um, up for it, and he said, "Just bring bring the dog with you." Right. And, and that was the first time. So then what happened the second time? Well, the dog just loved it. The dog, like, you know... Did was... it tell you? <laughs> <laughs> when this man approached you with a, no. pla <laughs> with, with a plane nearby, you just... You... <laughs> you were happy to assume he was a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Take your dog up. We, you... we prearranged the whole thing. I don't think you've told us the breed. Boxer. 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 Yeah. Boxer's boxer. a big dog. Mine is a boxer. Big yeah. dog a boxer. Does he wear a seatbelt? Yes, but he doesn't... He, honestly, he's so laid back. He just whoa, kind of, whoa, like, whoa, whoa. sinks into the seat and... He wears a seatbelt. Well, you put... You strap him in. He's put a seatbelt on. Are you sure he's not terrified? <laughs> he's never peed himself on these little hops. Yeah, but what about the boxer? <laughs> OK, so the, the, this is the bit now. It's the detail. It's the seatbelt. Well, when a dog I say, in a seatbelt. A seatbelt on, because the first time, because I didn't know, you know, if he'd react OK, so I, being his, you know, his mummy... His, no, you're his... not his mummy, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your husband is very ugly. No, but in his... <laughs> <laughs> Final 
final question. If there's a bit of turbulence, do you ever turn around to him and say, is it Windy Miller? <laughs> <laughs> Now, what about, what about David and the cuckoo clock? Wow. Oh, wow. Well, uh, there you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd be interested to know what your accidental yes. outbid was for what amount. I think it was about £250. And had you been bidding up to that point and then stopped? I had not. No. You'd not bid at all? No. What were you there for? I was there because my wife wanted to buy a dining room table. MFI was shut, was it? <laughs> Because, no, because as you've had occasion to mention, Lee, I'm terribly, terribly posh. <laughs> right. And so you could feel it coming on. As the, and were you worried that this was going to...? Well, it, no, I wasn't. I didn't think this would happen. I, it was a ridiculous thing to have happened. If you told me beforehand, would this happen? I'd say, no, I would never believe anything like that could happen. <laughs> no, you have to convince us we're struggling. Yeah. <laughs> I get hay fever at some times of the year, and this was one of those times. You're not going to end this story weirdly. Every time I sneeze, I hold up a number. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hold up the number. I sort of had the number there, but I didn't hold it up. What did you do, then? I, I sneezed. Surely, if the system is you hold up a number, <laughs> at some point, your hand must have come up as well. You're echoing my very words. <laughs> That's what I said. Of course, it's a ridiculous situation. Someone sneezes, they just happen to have the number slightly visible, and the auctioneer takes that as a bid. What sort of a system is that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a quick reenactment of the moment. I mean, you were at 230 pounds, 240, yeah. 240 yeah, no, pounds, <laughs> going to the gentleman in the nice, soft, <laughs> crushed... <laughs> <velvet>. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty pounds. No, what kind of system is this? How oh, lovely that David Mitchell is big for this and the money oh, oh, will go to a good home. Thank you, David. Oh, no, please auction the yeah, Oh, all right, I'll be quiet. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> So how did you make the connection with the Miller? <laughs> because I was aware that he'd made the penultimate bid, but I tiptoed up to him afterwards and asked uh, if he wanted to buy it for the um, for, the, for, for his last bid. For, for his last Which bid. Was so what? I would only have been, I think, been about two, uh, ten, ten or less than I'd bid. But if you exploded that, that I don't believe you would have tiptoed. And I probably didn't actually tiptoe. I wasn't actually, you know, I was probably resting on the heels of my feet. But I, <laughs> I walked. But I thought was quite discreetly, although I accidentally bought a couple of vases on the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need an answer. So. Is Miller Steve's prize presenter, Gabby's pet pilot, or David's clock collector? Well, I believe that he gets hay fever, David, but none of the rest of it. Uh... <laughs> so you believe the cool thing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Catherine, you're saying it's not David? I don't think it's David. I believe Steve's won trophies, but none of the rest of it. So I believe Gabby. I think that all sounds um, you very believe true. She likes to take a boxer dog flying. Yeah. With Miller. Yeah. I, I don't think you can take a dog on a plane. You know. Well, you, you, know, you, 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 you can, can, you can no, take dogs on planes uh, if you go through the correct channels. Really? You can. They sent a dog into space. Yeah. They never got it. Back. <laughs> they sent a dog into space. <laughs> well, I don't believe Gabby's story, but I do think he looks like a parrot. Well, that, that's the. That, you see, if we're going to talk about looks, <laughs> I would say it's the only time I am going towards David. He looks like a man who's desperate for a cuckoo. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like a man whose budgie recently died. Mm. And he's looking for some company once an hour, but just for a split second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Gabby. You think it's Gabby? <coughs> You're saying... I say Steve, When yeah. all three of us are agreed it's not David... Yes. Yep. We're okay. going with Gabby and, and the flying. You're saying it's Gabby, it's the dog in the plane. Miller, would you please reveal your true identity? OK, I'm Miller. I presented Steve with a trophy. <laughs> Incredible Reynolds! <laughs> yes, Miller gave Steve a trophy. Thank you, Miller.